Okay, so we are going to continue creating the uh, client side of our um, code. We are going to create a page where we are going to be able to see a list of videos that we have in our account. Now, uh, remember that the source code, you will be able to find it in this uh, URL. It's going to be in the description of some of the videos. And <clears throat> something that you will see is that the app settings files uh, in the server and in the project are going to be uh, empty both. They are only going to have the base API URL and these values are going to be empty. You will need to set them. Also, the projects are configured to use the secrets, uh, user secrets file for .NET Core. So in Visual Studio, you can basically do, in Visual Studio 2019, you can right click and you should see here something like manage user secrets and that will take you to the user secrets file or generate it in case that you don't have it. Um, I modify the both projects so they actually use exactly the same uh, secrets file so you will see that the user secret for this one will be the same user secret secrets for this one uh, I believe that's going to work for you if you use the secrets file. Otherwise, you can just use the um, the app settings uh, files, the one for development and the one for production, in case you actually release a version you want to publish. Okay, so we are going to go to the pages and. Let's create a new page. It's going to be a Razor component. And let's name it Videos. Okay, since this is going to be a page, you know that we need to set it as the page and specify the route we are going to have. Uh, Okay, and now what do we want to do? First, we need to load the data as soon as the page is loaded. So remember that for the load actions, as soon as the page is loaded, we are going to use the uninitialized async. Okay. We are going to use an HTTP client in Blazor. Remember that you can inject an HTTP client in here and use HTTP client. That's going to be the name of our variable. And here we are going to do our result is equals to HTTP client dot get from JSON async. Which is going to be our uh, controller. Our controller, it was named video indexer, and our action was named list videos. And we are going to import the namespace for. This one, attribute indexer. Remember that we created the classes in there, and we should see here the uh, let's see list videos result attribute indexer. Let's be this. Okay. This be this response. So private. This 
speed is response okay actually we are going to do this videos okay let's see remember name kind of find the same uh, okay videos response it can have the name uh, the same name as the time of the page where you are now variable cannot have the same name uh, this one needs to be marked as protected and we are going to set it as a sync and now we need to do one await in here and that should work now if videos response equals no for the moment we will display loading otherwise we are going to do for each our single um, video item info uh, video info in this video response dot results which is the one who has ordered the videos and we are going to create a um, dip class I believe it was car okay we are going to create a row the card uh, we are going to force the width let's say 100 pixels and the height is going to be 100 pixels too and we check that in a second uh, then for each of these we are going to create a dip which I believe it was card body I believe and in there we are uh, uh, card title I think I'll check the names of the classes in a second in the okay in the title we are going to show the name and let's see if we have a description we will show a description in there here we will change this to loading okay and then we are going to add in the shared uh, nap menu we are going to add a new um, navigation item videos uh, we are actually going to remove these ones this is going to go to videos and then we'll run our application and see how everything goes Uh, now we are not using exception handling, but in the future videos we are actually going to uh, configure a global exception handling so you can capture all the errors that occur both in the server and in the client side. Uh, so let's see, okay, our um, endpoint was invoked. Let's see if our local variable it already has all of the values configured uh, through dependency injection. When we configure the startup.cs in 
the previous video remember that we went here and we added the uh, at singleton Azure configuration in the server side so that's why we have all that in there okay request URL okay it's going to work and uh, let's see what's going to happen in here so we see that here we have um, these are the actual cards uh, will create them a little bit uh, longer so we see more and then we add we will add the image and things like that uh, so let's see it's not going to let's see 400 by 400 and we'll see how that actually um, how that works Okay, so we have some good space to add like some of the uh, like a video image in here. Uh, we already have here the name. Uh, we can actually bold these. Uh, we have here the actual description for the videos, which we'll probably put it below the actual video definition later. So yeah, we can we can check some things in there. Uh, I don't remember if the cards actually have a a footer. Uh, but anyway, we could create it later, probably. And here we will use an image that at the moment we don't have uh, so we need to to get uh, you will see that in when we get the actual videos information we get the thumbnail IDs and you see that here we can get the thumbnail see that we have in here uh, get video thumbnail and the get video thumbnail actually give as give us a um, <laughs> the results in application base 64 or in the name as jpg jpg and the errors are actually in json so we can use this to generate the thumbnail from uh, for each of the of the videos we will see that in a future video thank you very much and have a great day